Hi guys, it's Nikki with Nikki Speaks and I am back with another video. But before we get into this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so that you can be notified every single time that I drop a new video. Let's go ahead and get into this one. So if you guys are at the title, you already know what we're going to be talking about. So let's get into Chris Sean Rock and Blueface, okay? So anyone who knows of this couple, anyone who has been following them knows that they are toxic together, they are toxic apart, and a lot of us has just kind of been sitting on the edge of our seats waiting for Krishan to realize her worth and to just kind of leave this relationship and find someone better. Me personally, I think that there's a whole lot of trauma that she needs to get over before she's able to actually be with someone. She needs to realize her own worth and love herself. I don't think a relationship is necessary necessarily the answer so i don't think leaving blue face and jumping into another relationship is going to be the ends all be all however it was rumored that a couple of days ago that she was at a high school foot football game with a new boo now i will say this it did all look innocent enough. It was a high school football game. However, this guy with the curly hair was following behind Krishan and was next to her throughout the entire game. So as she went and interacted with fans, as fans asked for pictures, he was right there with her by her side. He even went to the club with her afterwards and they were together there so i am going to have the video up above you guys take a look at it let me know what you think let me know if you think that she was kind of you know doing her own thing or if it was just innocence and they were not together i'm kind of hoping that she is branching out i don't think again as i stated before i don't think that she needs to jump from you know one toxic thing to another toxic thing just have fun like young girls do you know date see other people don't get locked down don't you know try to go out and find love in a man before you find love within yourself that's what i think but there's nothing wrong with having fun so that was a couple of days ago that was friday night to be more specific so i will say this I feel as though Blueface does put on a lot for social media. I think that he wants us to believe that he's not as concerned about what goes on with Krishan as he is. He did take to social media and he tweeted, love me a homebody. Okay. Now keep in mind, this was during the time where Krishan was allegedly out with her new dude or her new boo or whoever this guy is that she went to this game with as well as went out clubbing with Krishan did respond back f a homebody i get there where i get there papa and let's fast forward to last night so last night Krishan went live she showed pictures of a bloodied nose a bloodied mouth a black eye where she is alleging that blue face pretty much he beat her they were in a car together and she claims that she wanted to get out i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys listen to the audio and i will be right back jumped out no you want some weirdo shit. you bust my lip you bust my lip nigga. you bust my lip and gave me a black eye Get out my face, bro. No, you're being weird. You're trying to be a bitch. The fuck you on my booking? You came to my booking to pick up my money to disrespect me, nigga. I'm trying to get out the car while I was moving because I want to get out the car. You bust my lip and give me a black eye because you're a bitch ass nigga. The fuck is you talking about? The fuck is you talking about? The fuck this is a busted lip. Bust the nose. You lying. <laughs> you weird ass bitch. You lying. The fuck? I'm not, I'm just taxing a boy. That's it. This bitch ass nigga gonna beat me up. Like, what the fuck? So what? Let me jump out the motherfucking car, nigga. He gonna pull me back just to hit me in my mouth because I wanna jump out the car. So he gonna pull me out the car? No. No. I try to get out the car. He pulled me back just to hit me in my mouth. Then he called me on the police shit. No, bitch, I'm drunk and you're bitch. You're being a bitch. You too comfortable keep hitting me in my mouth. You too comfortable keep hitting me in my face. 
Tá com a polícia, não vai ver a polícia. Eu vou matar você depois que eu me der, mas é bravo. Niggas be lying, bro. Hope y'all work it out, man. No, I got a black eye and a busted nose and a big lip because I want to get out the car. You go to Minneapolis tomorrow, right? Sir, how am I being suicidal if I try to get out your car while it's moving? I'm trying to get out the car because I know what type of time you're on and I'm not fucking with it. He pulled me back just to hit me in my nose and my mouth. So listen, there is so much to unpack from that live and from the things that Krishan did say. I mean, a lot of people are kind of focused on the fact that Blueface allegedly beat her up and that's concerning within itself. However, am I tripping or did she say that he came to the club or came to her hosting to pick up her money? Why would he be coming to a hosting that you're doing to pick up money that you've earned? This is giving me, you know, this is giving me Stevie J and Jocelyn and Jocelyn back in the love and hip hop days when he kept telling her that he was going to send her back to the strip club. Now, we all know that Krishan is not stripping. She's just doing hostings. But is he managing her? Why would he need a portion of her money? Why would he need to keep her money? Why would he need to hold it? Listen, I don't even know if that what was said. I've rewinded a few times and that's what I'm hearing. But you guys let me know if that's what you're hearing. The next thing is, listen, they are extremely toxic together. And, you know, this was bound to happen. Everyone that was up under the comment section saying they want a blue, they want, um, if their girl is not Krishan, they don't want them. Women talking about they treat they went they uh, do just like Krishan treat Blueface, and that's the type of love that they want. Listen, I have never wanted that type of love. Okay, I am not in. I am not all in for that type of toxicity. I don't want a relationship where I have to fight to show my love every single day. Okay, I just it's not in me. Okay, and she's young, but battered women women that are out there fighting for their love fighting every single day that's going to take a toll on your face like come on i don't care how pretty you are you're going to age before your time who wants that okay so listen that's them the situation within itself is is sad it's horrible we've seen her fight him and now we've seen him beat her up <laughs> so I mean, it's just, it's all around horrible. I, I hate that for her because she sounds so lost. Um, I'm just wishing her the best. I'm wishing, you know, him the best. I think that he is manipulating her because he knows that she's not, she doesn't know what love is. And so she's equating to whatever she's feeling for him. She's equating that to love. And so he uses that to his advantage. Um, that's my opinion. It doesn't negate the fact that she has put hands on him in the past. And it doesn't negate the fact that he clearly allegedly you know beat her to a pulp last night so um, i'm just hoping that they both get out of this for the safety of both of themselves you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section and we're going to keep things moving okay let's go ahead and get into miss Nicki minaj okay so Nicki minaj is currently um one of the headliners for powerhouse um 99 and her first night which was friday night listen she had the internet on fire because of the antics on stage baby girl was on stage rolling around gapped leg okay and so she had the internet on fire. She had some fan bases, you know, quoting Lotto and calling her super freaky grandma. But listen, 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 Nicki Minaj brought her A-game last night as far as appearance, as far as her performance overall. I'm going to put as many clips as I can without getting copyrighted, but she looked amazing, okay? She looked amazing. The Cavalli was it, the green, the hair, everything came together and I was happy for her for that because I must admit the previous night, it was scary. <laughs> it was scary from head to toe all the way down to the performance. So her appearance, her outfit, her hair, everything was scary to me um, during that first performance. I'm going to put um, a screenshot of both of her looks. It was scary. And then the performance where she kind of rolled around on stage and gapped her legs and did this weird 
I don't know, stripper move. It was just too much. But she did redeem herself again, just as I stated last night, and she she was fire. She looked good. Her performance was good. She had the crowd lit. And so kudos to, to Nikki. Um, you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section. Are you thinking that um, Nikki just gets hate for nothing? Or do you think that, you know, her performance and everything was a little questionable Friday night? And we're going to move on to our next topic. So listen, Offset recently took to Twitter and he said, 11, 11, I'm dropping some dope, okay? So does this mean that we're finally going to get some answers to some of the rumors that are out there about him? The rumors about his split from the Mikos, rumors about him and Sweetie having an affair or doing some things that are inappropriate, like what can we expect with this drop so we know that we're getting new music and i'll be honest i am anticipating it i'm anticipating it for a few reasons because listen i'm nosy okay so yes i do want to know what type of tea he's going to spill in this um on this single if it's a single or on this album if it's an album i want to know so that's the first thing the second thing is i am curious to see how offset puts together uh, an entire album if this is an album i'm also curious to see if it's a single i'm curious to see where it goes i want to hear it i want to hear the music i listened to quavo and takeoff's album and it wasn't bad it just didn't get the traction and the reason why it didn't get it is because they're under qc little baby is little baby and he's he's their money guy over there so there wasn't a lot of money put into quavo and takeoff's album but it was good. I would definitely advise, you know, anyone who has not listened to go and take a listen. So now I am going to listen to Offsets and I want to see, you know, does he have the capability of doing this thing by itself? Does he have the capability of, of, of going solo? So, yeah, I want to hear it. But you guys let me know. Are you guys even at this point? Do you even care about his response to the uh, all of the rumors? Do you care about his response to Quavo and Takeoff and the split from the Miko? So you care about his response to the sweetie cheating rumors you guys let me know down in the comment section and i am going to talk to you on the next video